Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser NBAV tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I thank you. If you are interested in making a few bucks by using the latest technology, the blockchain-based Secure Brave Browser, the link is in the description below. You can be earning cryptocurrency as you surf the internet as you normally do. Ad blockers are in place to prevent all those unwanted bothersome ads as well as your internet speed will increase significantly. I highly recommend it, as it is the only browser I will use on my desktop and my phone. It was made by the same programmer that made the Firefox browser and is super secure and as I stated earlier, based on the new blockchain technology of today. Did I mention they pay you, the user, for using their browser? First article of interest for today. After the date of its approval was four months late and the deficit rate rose to 48 trillion dinars. Parliamentary finance for Al Zara. Uh, the approval of the general budget will take place after giving confidence to Alawi and his interim government. Despite the late approval date since late last year and until now, the House of Representatives is still waiting to receive the draft federal budget law 2020 officially, after a vote to grant confidence to the Prime Minister designate Mohamed Alawi and his temporary cabinet and its government program. In addition, the Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed the high rate of deficit in the general budget 2020 to about 48 trillion dinars. Member of the committee, MP Magda Al Tamimi, told Al Zora that the financial deficit is very large in the draft of the general budget law 2020, when it reached about 48 trillion dinars, and this is the true reason for not sending the budget to Burl so far, that, then she added, the government is trying to load the burden of the outgoing and the implications of rising budget deficit in 2020 to designate the prime minister to get rid of the responsibility, indicating that, since 15 last October, the budget was supposed to be ready in front of the parliament. She explained that the retirement of the resigned government under the pretext of conducting the businesses due to its evading accountability for the reasons for the high rate of deficits in the public budget. 48 trillion dinars. The committee's rapporter, MP Ahmed Hamarashid, said in a press statement that the prime minister designate has a long history of fiscal and monetary policy in the country. So the budget that suffers from a large fiscal deficit exceeding 48 trillion dinars can be reconsidered. He added that the new government seeks on addressing the fiscal deficit through a reconsideration of some paragraphs, noting that Prime Minister designate Mohammed Allah we cannot approve the budget and send it to Parliament, only after the vote of confidence in his booth and the ministerial program of his government. Next article of interest. Head of a parliamentary bloc reveals the date for announcing the formation of a Lewis government and confirms, the matter has been resolved. The head of the Barak al Air bloc and member of the House of Representatives, Mohammed al Khalidi, revealed on Monday, February 10, 2020, the date of announcing the cabinet cabinet of the Prime Minister designate, Mohammed Tafiq Alawi. Al Khalidi told, Baghdad today that the beginning of next week may witness the announcement of the formation of the ministerial cabinet for the government of the prime minister designate, noting that the new government will be free from any party candidate to assume ministerial positions. He added that there are some bankrupt parties that are still moving some demonstrators in order to continue the process of rejecting Muhammad Alawi and fueling the street, noting that the process of forming the Alawi government is on its way and added that Alawi's cabinet cabinet has been decided and did not include any candidates for the blocks at all, noting that the new government did not witness any rotation in the names of ministers in the previous government and previous governments. On Wednesday, 5th February 2020, Deputy Youssef al Kalabi revealed that Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi had set a condition in exchange for agreeing to his assignment to head the transitional government. Al Kalabi said to Baghdad today, we are a group of independent deputies, 23 deputies, 
who call ourselves the Parliamentary Correction Gathering. The purpose of this grouping is to correct mistakes for 15 years. We met with Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, and we informed him that we will stand with him strongly in order to be free to choose a cabinet cabinet, from the qualified, independent and brave, in order to build a state and not build parties. al Kalabi stressed that any candidate by the parties from any party would have stood up against him strongly and we did not allow him to pass, stressing that we will support Mohammed Tafiq Alawi in order not to allow the blocs and political parties to return to the government scene again. We will not allow this thing again. He added that Alawi told us that he did not agree to assign him to the prime minister, except in the event that freedom was given in choosing the cabinet noting that Allah we alone will not be able to impose this condition, but if he finds someone who stands with him and supports him, he will be able, especially we have seen Allah with sincere intention for the new government to be strong and independent. Next article of interest. Experts, China will need Iraqi oil until 2060. The Prime Minister's Advisor for Economic Affairs, Maza or Mohammed Sali, confirmed on Monday that the experts' estimates indicate that China will need Iraqi oil until the year 2060, while he pointed out that the Chinese agreement covers many areas. Saleh said in a statement that, the agreement with the major Chinese companies includes many fields, including dams, water, agriculture and infrastructure, and these companies will provide thousands of job opportunities for the Iraqis. He explained, Iraq and China signed the Memorandum of Understanding, as the Iraqi Ministry of Finance was the party signed by Iraq, the Chinese warned the agency on 5 November 2018, and the cabinet approved this, and this agreement was followed by the signing of a supplement in exchange for the export of 100,000 Iraqi oil barrels to China. Saleh pointed out that Iraqi oil exports to China amount to 22% and China is the number one importer of oil from Iraq, so Iraq is a true partner to China, stressing that China needs Iraqi oil until 2060, according to an expert assessment. Next article of interest. A problem in German banks is accumulating billions of dollars and the absence of places to store money. The French newspaper, Le Zico, said that German banks are suffering today from what is known as the problem of the rich noting that they are looking for a solution to the mountains of their accumulated money. The newspaper reported that the data of the German central bank showed that it has 43.4 billion euros, 47.6 billion dollars, in cash, so that it no longer has enough space to store all this money and must find new safes and call external companies. The newspaper pointed out that this amount is record and is three times higher than it was in May 2014, due to the European Central Bank setting negative interest rates, a policy confirmed by the European Commission last year in its economy weakened by trade tensions. The newspaper quoted the agency, Bloomberg, that several financial institutions asked Pro Orum to trade precious metals in Munich to ensure the preservation of the huge funds in their possession but Pro Orum rejected the request, citing it is also suffering from difficulties in storage. This is a ridiculous demonstration of the consequences of the European Central Bank's interest rate policy, said Andreas Schultz, who runs a savings bank near Berlin. The agency added, Nowadays it is better to keep the money in cash rather than depositing it with the European Central Bank, despite the risks, insurance costs and logistical problems involved. The French newspaper pointed out that the matter is no longer only related to banking institutions, but that the Germans are increasingly using cash, because many institutions have already decided to impose taxes on the deposits of their customers. I found the next article very interesting as it could be a solution to the above article, and lo and behold there is my favorite cryptocurrency XRP mentioned. I truly believe that the XRP ledger on the blockchain will play a huge part in the future of Iraqi and world finance. Has anyone else found it odd that every central bank out there has articles coming out right and left about central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and nothing pro or con from the CBI? 
I have only seen one article so far about the finance minister who was discussing digitization of finances with the Turkish representative about two weeks ago. So they are interested in the subject for sure. Is it possible they are keeping a digital asset project out of the media? I personally think so, as I do not think they named the smart cards just on a whim. I believe they will be based on blockchain using smart contracts. Time will tell all tales. If Iraq is to be the beauty of the Middle East she intends to be, she will definitely be using digital currencies along with the rest of the world. Think about it, it only makes sense doesn't it? Next article of interest. German banks requesting to custody Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP, report. Government officials in Germany confirm that several banks have filed a request to launch a digital asset custody business. Baffin, the nation's financial regulator, says it has received over 40 applications from parties interested in offering cryptocurrency custody services, reports news outlet Handelsblatt. Germany's updated Money Laundering Act permits banks and other local financial institutions to provide and manage traditional securities including stocks and bonds, along with digital assets, including Bitcoin, BTC, Ether, ETH, and XRP. Digital currencies have become increasingly popular during the past few years. As the market capitalization of crypto assets continues to grow, climbing to $288.3 billion, Baffin is addressing the issue of anonymity and the exploitation of these emerging assets by criminals money launderers and international terrorists. The regulator is warning firms that new laws require businesses to have an operational license if they want to offer custody services. German authorities formulated the new regulations after the European Union introduced its fifth anti-money laundering directive, AMLD 5, which requires crypto-related companies to ensure that their operations comply with updated Know Your Customer and AML processes. Bundestag Zabj Ragnit Frank Schaffler tells Handelsblatt, the market is growing faster than the Federal Ministry of Finance has predicted. That is both a blessing and a curse. The high demand for crypto custody licenses shows that companies are increasingly adopting blockchain technology, and this is also the result of the new legislation. Baffin has set a November 2020 deadline for such firms to establish compliance procedures for storing crypto assets or conducting any other kind of business that deals with digital assets. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog. Also check out my Facebook or Twitter for all of today's articles of interest as I post them on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Also be sure and register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.